Well, Bill Taylor, we are seven days into the month of September. I would say it's going pretty good. You know, not bad yeah. at all. Almost an inch of rain in the gauge for September. I got some and today at my we house. wrapped up in August. Yeah, yeah, we'll see some of the totals. In fact, some real healthy downpours. A lot of you want some more. I'm going to see if we can squeeze out a little bit more from this front before it's gone. But first, we're on board Shopper 5. Wednesday night means we're three down and two to go until the weekend. What a beautiful shot of our Alamo Dome. And if we... If we all just kind of lean in, listen closely, maybe a little, a little more bad Be bunny before Benito leaves it. the stage, right? <laughs> so fun. Oh, what a live shot. In fact, I think Alicia, have we heard? I, I don't know if she's going to hit the road with him and go on tour. She was very excited. It was good stuff today. Already gone, see? I knew it. All right, outside here on the hill, the flags are still. That means the winds are barely moving here in the medical center. They're calm, 82, feels like 85. We've got a dew point still near 70. From the airport, the numbers today. In fact, we came close to a record. 96 is well above average by about four degrees, and it's also four away from a very old record. 1912's 100 stays in place another year. Caught a shower on the time lapse. Watch out quickly. This downpour moved over Calaveras Lake right there really fast. We're looking across most of Calaveras Lake and into downtown. You can even see the Tower of the Americas right there. And then a beautiful sunset. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, have you ever seen a shelf cloud like this? Oh, man, this is an incredible picture. Wake the kids, phone the neighbors. What happens is you get cold air rushing out of the thunderstorms, lifts some of that warm air out ahead of it, condensing it quickly into a shelf cloud caught by Kimberly Martinez. This family so scared, they said, get the U-Haul, we're moving. We're too nervous. No, but this is uh, 1604 Highway 90. You know, it was really across West Bear County. We saw this impulse deliver some real heavy thunderstorms. There it is. Nothing severe, but a lot of dangerous cloud to ground lightning. Remember, when thunder roars, get indoors. You've got to make that move. Now, closer view, and that picture was taken right here. And watch the storms roll in. It was right out ahead of that storm line before that rain really started coming down. So how much fell? Well, there were some pockets of about an inch and a half up near Holotus, a little more than half an inch. You go to Eastern Bear County, not a drop. Then there was a sliver just outside of Medina Lake through Hondo. No recorded rainfall. So this stationary front still pushing through. We could get one more shower with daytime heating tomorrow. What will happen, we're expecting a little northeasterly breeze early tomorrow. So I think early tomorrow morning is going to feel pretty good. I mean, we won't get into the 60s or anything. It'll stop in the mid 70s. But notice a couple of those sprinkles won't be much. That's why I'm not going with more than a 10% chance. There is an upper level feature diving down into southeast Texas, Gulf of Mexico. This could bring rain to the Texas coast as well as the Louisiana coast, but pretty far east from us. Earl is cranking up just south of Bermuda, now a Category 2 hurricane, expecting a major hurricane by tomorrow, Cat 3 or Cat 4 for sure. Both storms, Danielle and Earl, expected to not make landfall. We'll keep an eye on these two systems in the Far East Atlantic. Seven-day forecast time from the Riverwalk, 94 for Thursday. Only a 10% chance of a shower, and then that's it. We're running into a pretty dry pattern for the weekend, mid 90s, lots of sunshine. So definitely wash the car, but put the umbrellas away for a bit. Get that sunscreen and make sure to hydrate. We're going to have some heat indices upwards of about 100. We're back at it. All right. Thanks so much, Bill.